My name is Sarah Seeger, Professor of Physics and Professor of Planetary Science at MIT. I work on exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. My main goal right now is to lead an effort to actually be able to find the true Earth twins, that is, Earth-like planets orbiting nearby Sun-like stars. Are there signs of life, be that bacterial life or more intelligent life? It's important to study exoplanets for so many reasons. One of them is we just want to understand where we came from. How did our Earth form and evolve? And by having many copies of other planetary systems, we can hope to try to understand that problem. As a child, I was always interested in astronomy. I saw the moon for the first time when I was a very small child. And later on, at about age 10, I was on a camping trip with my father. And we went outside really late one night when it was dark. And I looked up at the sky, and I had that, wow. I just couldn't believe there were so many stars. I had no idea that there were so many stars out there. And to this day, I always carried that with me. There's absolutely an Earth twin out there somewhere. We just don't know exactly where, and that's why we need to build a sophisticated space telescope to find it. We have seen from the Kepler Space Telescope that small planets are common, in fact, far more common than larger planets like Jupiter. There are a lot of ways to find exoplanets, and one of the best ways right now to find the smallest planets is so-called looking for transiting planets, planets that go in front of the star as seen from Earth. However, the very brightest sun-like stars are spread all around the sky, and a single telescope can't monitor those stars for long periods of time. So the goal of ExoplanetSat is to send up a fleet, tens to even up to 100 of these, each operating independently, each focusing on one star at a time. And at that way, we can monitor stars spread out all around the sky. It's an art as well as a science. We start with very little data. Sometimes we only have the mass of a planet and the size of a planet, and that gives us the average density. From the average density, we can consider all the possibilities of what that planet might be made of on the inside. To understand what's in a planetary atmosphere, we get a little more information. We get a spectrum that is light from the planet that is altered by gases in the planet's atmosphere. And from the way that that light is altered, we can try to infer what gases are in the planet atmosphere. I am disappointed to still be, oftentimes, the only woman in a room of engineers or physicists. There are still far too few women in the physical sciences, as there should be compared to efforts put forward to get young women interested and to maintain them in the field. I think becoming a MacArthur Fellow will open up doors for me and give me a platform to speak to the world. Financially, the award came at the perfect time for me. All of the money will go towards childcare, household help, and quality of life on the home front. And by doing that, as a single mother, this will actually enable me to still do my job and to excel at my job. It'll give me time to think and time to actually carry out my dreams. Mm -hmm.